are one win away from clinching their ticket to the 2020 Olympic Games for the first time in their program history. On the other side, Sweden. They still have a chance despite losing their first two games here in Austin. A win, and they're still alive with one game to play here. Later today, Japan and Canada will do that. You see the fans who have made it here in a sold out Austin Dome here on the coast of Belgium. A lot of them here to try and see history. There is the slate today. Sweden, Belgium up first. Canada and Japan later on. Canada and Japan already know they're going to the Olympics. Just one ticket left here in this group. Canada undefeated. 2-0. Sweden yet to win. As we said, Natalia, they are still alive. Carlin Gay alongside Natalia Melendez gets a, ch a chance to talk about Sweden, who have everything to play for here in this tournament. It's going to take a full 40 minutes, though, for them to complete their first victory here in Belgium. The third day of competition, and this is very exciting, Carlin, because as you said, one of these two teams are going to the Olympics for the first time in their history. And we got to talk about Sweden. And when we talk about Sweden, we got to talk about what Lloyd's been doing. This girl has been carrying this team on her shoulders for two days, being consistent in both sides of the court. The problem with Sweden it has been their field percentage, because when you see the reboundings, they are there. The problem has been that their shooting percent have been poor, only 32%, and from the three-point line, 15%. It's hard to compete at this level having those percentages. But their defense have been there, have been brilliant by moments. The rebounds are there, 32 per game, 11 offensive rebounds. They just need more help from that second unit. If you're Sweden, you say to yourself, we've got two bad shooting nights out of our system. Yes. Tonight, tonight, we see the ball fall through the hoop. You hear the ovation here at the Ostan Dome. It's sold out. Everyone on their feet as they welcome in the Belgian Cats. We are one win away from their first ever Olympic berth, and what a moment it will be if they're able to complete it here, Natalia. So far, two tough games. The first game here, lost to Canada in a physical battle. They were up big against Japan by 18 and allowed Japan to sneak back into that game, but they pulled up 50. And many people could think that what we saw yesterday of this Belgian team in the last minutes could be negative. I see it in a positive way because Japan came back came back and Belgium was able to hold their composure and make the right decision with Julie Alleman as uh, their point guard. She was brilliant yesterday. When the game got close, she asked for the ball and she made the right decisions. This team is, um, their rotation is a little longer than the Sweden team. Everything started with Messiman, but Alleman was the girl yesterday. She was special, 16 points, seven assists was Julie Alleman as she led the way for Belgium to get their first win. We'll pause now for the national anthems, first from Sweden, then from Belgium.
meeting at half court. Once they clear the way, it'll give us a chance to meet our officials for this game. Led by Adamil Zalapovic, Amy Bonner, and Andrea Silva. There they are. Smiles all around. They've done a terrific job here this weekend. Final game for this crew here in Ostom. All right, it's game time, Natalia. Let's talk about these two teams. And Belgium, Sweden, again, both of these teams looking for their first Olympic berth. Belgium with the win will secure that berth. Sweden with the win by at least 15 points will punch their ticket to Tokyo. As we take a look at the lineup for the host, Belgium Cats. In the case of, of Belgium, they were so effective yesterday playing that pick and roll, which I think will be their first option today. And if, if they score from the three-point line like they did yesterday, they should not have a problem to establish the offense that they shown yesterday. On the other hand, it's something that Belgium have been very consistent in the two games. Before this one, it was different. There's the starting five. Hashtag Eliel, Lynchkin, Alamon, and Emma Messamin, the big time star. She was helped, and so was that starting five by Anna Raman yesterday, who was absolutely terrific in their win over Japan. She's a great asset coming off the bench. Her defense was perfect yesterday. She likes to hit, she's not afraid of contact, and most of her offense comes from the pick and roll, offensive rebounding, and she's one of the players that goes most of the times to the free throw. She goes a lot to the free throw line, which means she's right there fighting for those uh, rebounds. 60 points yesterday, four assists. Here's the starting five for Sweden. They're going to need a big game out of Zawi. We'll talk about here a little bit as well. There's a starting five to the same starting five all tournament long. But Khalees Lloyd was spectacular in the first two games. She just needs a little bit more help. She does, she does. Those are her number 15, 43%, three rebounds, one assist. This is a complete player. She posts, she runs, she puts the ball on the floor, she follows offensive rebounds. One on one, she's very hard to guard because she's fast for her position and she likes the baseline. So I guess that's something Belgium will be doing today, pushing her to the middle of the basket. But everything that Belgium does in offense goes around her. Philip Mestek, head coach of Belgium, trying to get his team to the Olympic Games for the first time and do it in front of the home crowd. How sweet that would be for the host nation here. On the other end, Marco Crespi, the head coach, Italian born head coach of Sweden just taking over this program and trying to get them to the next level, saying that this is a big learning experience for this program to just get to this point. But what an advancement it would be for the entire program if they're able to get a win today and keep their hopes alive of making the Olympic Games. It's very hard as a player to get used to a new coach. I guess he's doing, you know, he was just with the team for six months. So they are trying really hard. I hope I hope Sweden's percentage go up today because that's that's pretty much what they need. They need more offense. The defense has been there. The rebounds have been there. The hustle, the energy, it's been there. It's just that shot <laughs> won't go in. <laughs> that's how he is. <laughs> animated head coach indeed. See the final huddle. Belgium had a lot of pressure on them. Emma Messerman, leader of this team, the face of Belgium basketball in this country and other countries as well. She is a world-class superstar. I was taking a pan of the arena, some of the Swedish fans. There's a sign in the Swedish support section that says, Emma, normally I cheer for you, but not today from Sweden. <laughs> that shows you the type of superstar she is. She's amazing, not only known in this Europe side of the world, but in the United States, in the Caribbean, in South America, everybody knows who she is and when you see her career she's very young what she's doing what she did on, on college and and now as a professional athlete it's pretty amazing no question about it had a terrific 2019 the early championship NBA, uh, WNBA championship finals MVP in the WNBA here we go
welcome everybody in to what is a very stormy coast of Belgium here in Ostom. The winds and rain ripping through the city. But this arena is jam-packed. Many fighting through the terrible weather outside to pack the Aston Dome, sold out for a chance to see history. Belgium wins. They're on their way to Tokyo and the Olympic Games for the first time. Sweden standing in their way. Carlin Gay alongside Natalia Melendez. Thanks for joining us wherever you are, however you're doing so. Belgium in the road red. Sweden in the yellow, and there you see Emma Messerman, who we'll talk about all evening long, getting her first two. And as we saw, their offense started with that pick and roll, then one on one in the post. Emma is very hard to guard. Man is out with this quiet in the last outing against the Canadians. She has to have a big game this evening, and her first basket is there and right over Messerman. She's been averaging eight points per game, but we know what Sawi is capable of doing. And every time she's in the post, if she's one-on-one, -on -one, she needs to attack. And only four points yesterday against Canada and fouled out. Mess him in for three. In and out, Zawi vacuums it in. The Elder Brain sisters in the backcourt. They finally found the stroke yesterday. Elise Lloyd, who's about to get the handoff here. Led the way in the first two games for Sweden. Zowie will tee up a three. Too strong. Look at McGarity battling inside. The good effort. Zowie, ball on the floor. Who wants it? It's Linskins who comes away with it. Julie Alamon putting it on the deck. Alamon to the rim. She have a strong right hand. If she finds a gap, she will attack. She was terrific in the win against Japan. Leading the way with a team high seven assists. Foul on the floor. Basket won't count. Mess that who puts her hands up, saying that she committed it. Here's the replay. That was a mismatch there. Happened away from the back the screen. There it is. Messerman was guarding her. Of course, I'm going to attack her. I'm faster. Good intention. Mess that first. Belgium had 28 assists against Japan. The ball was just moving so well offensively for the Cats just 24 hours ago. Lloyd bangs home a three. First link of the game for Sweden. Mestag. Mestag. She traveled. Found herself open. It took an extra step to do it. There's a good defense there. They lock her in. Good energy in this sold out of Stone Dome. Elderbrink pulls up. Too strong. Zowie skying for the rebound. Can't get it to go. McGarity inside. They say no shot. Foul before the shot. And I believe it's messed that again. This team have no problems with the rebounds. They are very aggressive. They catch them. But they got to make them. That last drive here by Alamond was able to finish. She's able to get in the paint. It would be trouble for Sweden all evening long. Here's Police Lloyd. She can drive with the best attacking two defenders. Belier got a hand to it. Messamin comes away with it. Here's Alamond on the break. Linskins was terrific yesterday. Mestag for three. Left it short. Alamon first to it. And gives her team another possession. Five to shoot now. Belgium's going to have to move quick. It's Alamon. She sees the clock. She'll tee up a three. Indeed. The defense went under the screen. They need to go over the screen. To avoid that. Messamin comes away with a pickpocket there. Here comes Belgium the other way. Linskin sets the screen. Alamon turns the corner. Delia drives baseline. And Lloyd got her hand caught in the cookie jar, picks up her first foul. Again, everything that we're seeing here, it's been created by Element. She's doing an amazing job attacking those gaps, making sweet moves on defense, and getting her players open. 
Marco Pespi feeling though his team needs a breather. Very spirited first four minutes here in the game as you take a look at some of the highlights so far. Timeout on the floor. Belgian up 7-5. Let's listen into the huddle. So loud in this gym, it's a little hard to hear. Marco Crespi was telling his team, let's take a look at some of the highlights you've seen so far in the first four minutes of the game. A lot of energy. What do you like so far out of Sweden with their backs against the walls? Like out of Sweden right now, what do you like? Oh, this is a very even game so far. Both teams are playing from the inside out. So once the ball goes in, the defense needs to understand that the rotation needs to be on point in order to avoid those open threes. On Mestag checking in for Belgium. And Deliel tripped and fell out of bounds. Good defense there by Khalees Lloyd. Here's the replay. Sweden show their 2-3 uh, zone. Change in defense. Seven five early on. Lloyd pulls for two, can't get it to go. Zawi has been aggressive on the glass so far to start the game, especially on the offensive board. Had a tap at it, but Belgium comes away with possession. Lynch gets. They're back to one on one defense now. Julie Alamon. Messam puts it on the deck. Messam in. The defense there by Zawi making it tough for her to see the rim. She only averaged one point in the two games before, but she is averaging five rebounds. Zalamon. Messamin. Indeed. Aldebrink <laughs> waits for screen. Zawi. Garrity now shows the update, puts it on the deck. Now she'll work on the baseline. Now they'll bring jab step in the lane, nice. floats it up and in. Rita Eldebrink. We need to see more of that from her. It's today or never. Sweden's still alive despite losing their first two games here. And Ostan as Alaban's three is not there, and McGarity finally gets it on the Zowie tap. Sweden wins this game by 15 points. They're headed to Tokyo for the first time ever. Any loss wow. other than that is a deep three's on the way by Ellerbrink, no good. Any loss sends them home. They need a win to stay alive. If they do win, they'll need some help later on. Hope that Japan beats Canada in their second game, and that will send them to Tokyo as well. But if Belgium win, they're in. Linskins for three. Indeed! I just absolutely love when the big players can shoot from the three-point line like that, when a five becomes a five open. Zowie so looking to bang inside on... Messamin, she traveled. Great defense there by Emma Messamin. We always talk about her offense. She's just as good on the defensive end. Here's an example of that. And this is a great match. 
between Zawi and Messina. Two-point game here. One ticket left. We decided between these two teams. Garman comes into the game for the first time. We talked about her off the top of the telecast. 16 big points off the bench yesterday. Emma Messiman with a little bit of dream shake action in the low post. Another two for her. She sealed the defense perfectly. That moves. Moves up to six on the afternoon. Zawe falling away, left it short. Yeah, clears. And here's Alamond in the front court. Alamond. Come on. Bad pass there, and Lloyd comes away with the pickpocket. Lloyd galloping inside. Was hit. No call. Ella Brink now puts it on the deck, pulls up at the foul line. That's too strong. Gary had a hand to it. Finally, Ramon comes away with it. Look at the uh, a big like Ramon bringing it up the floor, showing the versatility. Super impressive yesterday coming off the bench. She was. In the win over Japan. She's a great asset to this team. Double team on Messiman. And out of bounds going the other way. The Elderbrink sisters converge. Fans here wanted a foul call, not coming. Maybe the, she's saying that there was a little push there. Two minutes of play here in the first period. Good flow to start this. Elderbrink penetrating inside. Elderbrink can't get the finish. Kame goes into the game for the first time, pulls down the rebound. Halverson, 14 in yellow with the ball right now, also in the game for the first time. Here's Lloyd. Kame will tee up a three. Can't get it to go. Halverson on the offensive board. Puts it up and in. The Sweden already have four offensive rebounds. They have seven rebounds in the game and four being offensive rebounds. Back to a two-point game. Julia Ramon. Ramon slicing in. Hand messed back for three, strong. Here's Lloyd. Look at the speed like she shot out of a cannon now, slowing it down. Going to run some offense. Alverson finally gets the space she can need to operate in the post. Going up against Messiman again. Messiman with a good defense. She's very disciplined with her defense. Hands up. She uses her legs. Here's Emma. Come on. Patient. Patient. Can't get it to go. Tame will clear and push the other way. The brink. Finger up, she waits for a Halverson screen. Elder brings foul on her way to the basket. It's on the floor. Delia picks it up. She does that very well. She knows how to split the defense using her body. She's a master doing that. Last pass, and come on, couldn't finish from point blank range as she had. The defenders all over. Coming. Elderbrick. Elderbrick pulls. As the shot clock expires, it puts it through to tie the game. Those are her first Alamon two. from way outside wow. almost able to cash in. Well, we end the first quarter the same way we started it.
energy in this gym has been like this and terrific and pumping through the veins of everyone sitting in and sold out of Spawn Dome half an hour before tip-off. They haven't stopped clapping. They haven't stopped jumping. And they're here to cheer their team on and take a look at some of the highlights from the first quarter. We're tied at 14. A win for Belgium. They're off the Olympic Games. Sweden's still alive with a victory. They'll need help from Japan in game two here in Ostom. Harlan Gay alongside Natalia Melendez. Thanks for joining us wherever you are, however you're doing so. It's the FIBA Women's Olympic Qualification Tournament from Aston, Belgium. Stormy Aston, Belgium. The rain and the wind really ripping through the streets of Aston. Many here in attendance try and see history. Ahmed Mestag pulls the rebound down and goes back the other way. Messamin. Side come on. Come on. Messamin open for two. In and out. She came out early and she was shooting those shots. Knew that she might have to take more perimeter shots than she did against Japan in game two yesterday. Elder Brink from the foul line. Can't get it to go. Kame poked at it. It's going to go the other way. Wholesale changes for both sides. First time we say Kepriyo into the game. She had struggles in the first half, but bounced back nicely in the second half yesterday. Yes, um, in the case of um, Kaprux, she brings a lot of energy on the game. She, and most of the time, they bring her to the court to fast the pace, to create things on the fast break. But in the same line, she is making way too many turnovers. She's averaging three. She does bring energy. She brings the fast break, but she needs to take care of the ball a little bit more. So she's able to do that here. She's on the Rocket field, number nine in red and black. Well team. Lynchkins. That field uses the Lynchkin screen. Now trying to probe. Good look. And it's thrown away. Hestag was not ready for that hot pass. Here it is on the replay. Deprio had a nice no-look dime that ended up in the FIBA top five plays from match day two. And that was another opportunity to end up in the top five plays. That no-look assist attempt. Mestag wasn't ready to handle it. break in the post. Left it short, got her own miss. Rarely do you see the Elder Brink sisters go down there and try to go to work. But Kaprooks was guarding her, shortening her, so it was good for them to do that. They should do it more often. Elder Brink runs into two defenders, and Armand comes away with the steal. Nestak pulls it on the deck. Now looking for help. Armand, Linskins, good. Linskins is so effective. So effective from everywhere. Lord. Help there. Lloyd somehow got it away, tried to play it off the glass to herself, and then it squirts out of bounds. Here you see the Swedish supporters and Marco Pesky. As energetic as the coaches will see, he'll give Lloyd a quick breather. She won't rest for long in a game that means so much to this team and this program. The intensity, the level of intensity that it's been playing in here, even though they only played two games, it feels like you've been playing for a whole month. So today, legs are a little tired, mine is a little tired, but it's today or never, like I said. So they need to rest her a little bit and then bring her back. Lynchkin's putting it on the deck, cuffing it, and a good block there by Amanda Zowie. Alverson, come in, top of the key. Zowie wants it inside. She turns, puts it on the deck. Elderbrink driving, fires, can't get it to go. Nystrom comes away with the rebound for a fresh 14 for Sweden. One thing Sweden has done, yes. they've been able to 
Grab the offensive rebounds. Halverson, good block by Rami. That's that crossing over. Trip. Wow. Slim have six offensive rebounds. So it's a great crossover. Try to split the defense, but they she received the foul. Nystrom picks it up. Her first. Garrity back into the game, 11 in yellow. Estag catching fire. Oh, good. Zowie clears. For Garrity. Zowie. Garrity. Zowie will tee up a long two. No good there. Capio goes up, rips that down. She'll push quickly. As it takes some dribble, now she looks for help. Hell yeah. It's fouled again by Nisa. With, with almost four minutes to go in this second quarter, the up, there's been an offensive draw. Sweden have not been able to score, and Belgium only two points. Coach is feeling that calling for time. We'll take the time out with them. It's 16-14. Belgium in front by two. 6-0-4 to play here in the second quarter. of the basketball game, the highs and lows. Living, being crushed. We have a full every house. Every moment, it is a packed house. And because, house. because of, of the storm, the rest of the sports activity around Belgium here, around this area, were canceled. So everybody's here. Everybody's watching this game. They may have a chance to see history. Belgium make the Olympics for the first time with the win. Belgium basketball, they're up two. Six minutes to play here in the first half of what's been a spirited contest between these two teams. Never participated in the Olympic Games. Steal there. Eldebrink ahead of everybody and lays it up and in. Tie game. Capio picks up her dribble in a precarious spot. Finally got some help. Lynchkins. Valier, five to shoot. Waters puts it on the deck. Zowie stays down. Waters travel. That's good defense there by Amanda Zowie. Seems like she moved her pivot point. She needs a defense now coming in from out here, fired up. Garrity tried to keep it inside, it got poked away and she got it right back. Elderbrink pulls, no good, chased down her own miss. Another offensive rebound for Sweden. Elderbrink, Zowie will tee up a three. No good, another offensive rebound for Sweden. It's Elderbrink, she's alone for three. Indeed, a fist pump as that goes through the hoop. Leads to a timeout, and Sweden won't go easy. 
Mr. Mestak is not happy about it. He's calling a timeout. Too many offensive rebounds for Sweden. That's an adjustment they need to make, especially from the guards, because are the guards are, there, are, are the ones catching those rebounds. Very easy timeout to understand there. Energy just not there. Peter Mestag upset with his team right now, saying clearly to them, they are hungrier for the ticket to Tokyo than yes. we are. Some timeouts are not timeouts for technical stuff, but for motivation and you know pushing your team to do better. See how they respond. Down three, halfway through the second period. It's important to go into halftime with a lot of momentum. Mess that. Got him off. Mess that. Alamon frees herself in the corner. This is Messiman who's back on the floor, puts it on the deck, driving in. Good defense by Zowie again. Alibri. Offensive foul. McGarity on the moving screen. That's her first. Time again, mess him in a touch there. She is on the rock. Set a screen for Delia. Alamond in sidewalks. Mess tag on the up fake and stop and pop. No good. They say last touch by Belgium will go the other way. Four minutes to play here in the first half. You be the judge at home. It's close. That was a good shot. No luck there, but it was a good shot. Like Waters touched it last. Correct call made. Elderbrink open for three, can't hit. Again, another offensive rebound as Elderbrink now driving in and finishes. And the thing with the offensive rebounds are the guards from Sweden that are taking those offensive rebounds. So it, when this Elderbrink sister shot, somebody needs to put a body on them. Ellen Elderbrink has four offensive rebounds on her own. Waters inside is foul, and she'll go to the line for two shots. And you got to give credit to her because sometimes, Carlin, it's hard when you're not making shots. You get tired, you get frustrated, but she keeps trying. She keeps trying, and she's doing so many things, doing an amazing uh, job on defense and also on the rebounding side. Nice drum picking up that last foul. That's her third, and she'll sit. She didn't play much in the first two games for Sweden. We've seen a, longest, uh, a longer rotation today from Sweden. I think it's been the longer rotation that we've seen in this tournament. Especially here in the first half. Yes. Elise Lloyd back into the game to try and close this half on a positive note. Waters missed the first. Waters missed the boat. Elderbrink in the front court. There's Gamic. Jab step penetrating. Cross court pass. McGarity was tripped and she still finished the bucket. Trip with her own. Julie Ademann. Messiman wants it in the post. Messiman going to work. Messiman falling away. That was a good defense, but Messiman was just better in those offensive moves. Asking quite some time for Belgium. Messiman up to eight points. Rame comes around the screen, fires, no good. Messiman clears. Belgium decides to play with a little bit more peace. 
Alamon will tee up a three. Too strong. The rebound there by McGarity. A great box out. Never messing in. And here's Lloyd dribbling front court. Elder Brink has been terrific here in the first half. Diamond. Throws up a wild shot. Thought she got fouled. No call. So he's still up five. Messing. Looking for help now. Alamon turns the corner with pace. Gave it away to Tanabe. Fans here wanted a foul call. Elder Brink will push. She's exhausted. Elder Brink. Lloyd for three. In and out. Alamon pulls it down. A lot of tired faces out there right now with a minute 30 to play here in the first half. That time can't come soon enough. A lot of these players giving it their all. A chance to go to Tokyo for the first nice. time in the Olympic Games where these teams as Messiman misses point blank range. The crowd getting antsy here. Good attempt, no luck. We saw this from Belgium against Canada in game one. It was almost a lot of nerves. They couldn't play with the freeness that they played against Japan that saw them get an 18 point lead. Garrity for three, no good. Shot clock expired there. She had to fire that one up. Almost missed everything. Alamon. Falling in front of her is Lloyd. It leaves Messamin for three. She can't get it to go, and Grame will clear. Marco Crespi jumping up and down, saying, slow it down. He wants, he know he have advantage. He wants to take a responsible shot. They got time. They're going to look for Lloyd. Lloyd, jab step. Hand off. Ella Brink with five to shoot. Cross-court pass, but Garrity's going to have to put it up. She doesn't know it. And Zowie got caught. Ball in her hand. And will end up with the turnover. Timeout, Belgium. With 11.6 seconds to play, Belgium looking to get a good look at the rim and try and reduce this score. Intensity all over the place. One more ticket available here from Aston. Oh, yeah. Let's listen into this huddle. Five-point game, 11.6 seconds to play here. Women's Olympic qualifier in the first half. Very intense game between Belgium and Sweden. Both these teams have never made an Olympic Games. A win puts Belgium there. Messamin won't get a shot off. She sends it to Mestang, who buries a triple at the buzzer. Boy, did Belgium need that. And they'll head into the locker room, only down two. 20 minutes away from handing out an Olympic ticket or keeping Sweden alive. Sweden leads at the moment from Aston, Belgium. There you see the stats on your screen. Rebounds, keeping Sweden in the game. Nine of them coming on the offensive glass. Belgium is shooting way better from the field, 46%. Sweden only 29%, but the offensive rebounding 
it's giving them a lot, a lot of problems because Sweden is having second opportunities. This is the game we were expecting. It was going to be a, a close a close game. And Sweden also is dominating the points in the paint, 12 to 6. It's been a close game indeed. All, already seven lead changes. You see Marco Crespi talking to Elderbrink. She's fired up. She has played a terrific first half, leading the way for Sweden with nine points, three offensive rebounds for the guard. I'll leave you with the first half highlights as you see some of them here. Belgium and Sweden in a battle here in the final game before these two teams. And a ticket to Tokyo is still up for grabs.
there by Waters. Definitely oh, will push the other way. Nice feed, a look away to Metsamu. That was very nice. Stolen by Gray, just picked the pocket with ease there. Gray's off to the Gray, what a pass. That is outstanding. No look pass. I was looking somewhere else. All of a sudden, we got Uwaki under the bucket with the ball. And again, Nigeria won't go away. They're hanging in there. Oh, no foul call there. And basket from Kalu. Malkovich has to call timeout. There was a couple of fouls there to stop the play. Switch with Nichols, shot clock running down here for China. Up top, Lee Mong, Lee Mong, behind the back, what a move, can she finish? Lee Mong, That's what a move, nice play. put it down. And there by Ashida. What a block by Lindstein, says no! Not in my house. Coach, you have two at halftime. We saw you jumping and screaming on the sidelines as usual, but maybe a bit more this time. What did you like about that first half? I like a lot this first half because we play very consistently against a team that uh, is a lot of years they play together so they know how they play when the play is broken and we have a great reaction in any situation and this is really good. What can you do to even step up in the second half? Don't stop uh, about offense, don't stop the ball on the first side, maybe reverse the ball attacking on the second side and maybe uh, going back to the middle and attack with the third time. Is the 14 points margin in the back of your mind? or? I think I, I just take care about to play good. Thank you, good luck. you down to a half time not playing your best basketball but I guess maybe before basketball you probably talked about intensity and energy so this is something I missed uh, when you see the way we are looking to the to the battle for the offensive board or the defensive board this is really ridiculous when you are in this moment just one game 40 minutes to take one ticket to the Olympics and you're playing so soft like this this is something I hate thank you good luck for the second half
Welcome back to Astan, Belgium. Sold out Astan Dome. It's a two-point game. 20 minutes away from one team getting one step closer to the Olympic Games. If Belgium does win this game, they're on their way to Tokyo. If Sweden wins, they still have a chance. Despite losing their first two games, they'll leave the door open. A win for Sweden and a loss by Canada in our final game today will send Sweden to the World Cup, or sorry, to the Olympic Games. And if Sweden does win by 15 points, then they don't need any help. They'll go on their own. We heard what Coach Mestak said. He thinks his team is lacking energy. And he said in a game like this, when you are playing for the Olympic ticket, you got to give all that you have. So I think some of the adjustments that we're going to see from Belgium have nothing to do with the technical part, but with the attitude and with the energy these girls are going to be shown. FIBA Women's Olympic qualifying tournament here from Aston, Belgium. You can hear the crowd is fired up. It is sold out. Standing room only. Belgium and Sweden in a battle. Ticket to Tokyo on the line. Belgium in the road reds. Sweden in the home yellow jerseys. And already the energy from Belgium much better to start this third quarter. Alamon, that's a two. It's good. 4 0 Brown in the first at 30 seconds of the game. Sweden has been in every game so far here in Oston. They played Canada tough in the first half. They played Japan tough as well. It's the third quarter yes. where they've fallen apart each and every single time, and that's why they're 0 2. Elderbrink inside, can't get it to go. Messed. Mestek tapped at it, and it was Messeman who actually pulled it away. Linskins puts it on the deck. Good block there by Zowie. Gary. Get Elderbrink to Ellen. Elderbrink. Ellen Elderbrink was terrific. She has a mismatch, so look to go to work. Elderbrink crossing over, falling over. And Linskins vacuums it in. Deliel in the open floor. Euro stepping her way to the tin. Can't get it to go. Got her own miss. Never touched the rim. Shot clock. Still putting the time on. Inside they go. Messiman falling away. Left it short. Elise Lloyd pulls down the rebound. Where does the offense come from for Sweden? Could it be Lloyd? Even Zowie from the foul line. Can't get that to go. Zowie's been terrific in the different sides of the court and in the rebounding, but she's one of nine from the field. Quiet here offensively. It was quiet yesterday against Canada as well. Lanskin's on the roll. 
Maybe one too many passes, but Deliere found it! And the foul! Sneaking her way along the baseline and able to kiss it home for two. That we allow her to take the baseline. That was a good shot from Deliere. Very hard to. See? She was open. Baseline was open. Start the second half. You always wonder how a team responds. Their coach really gives it to them in the locker room. Mestag was not happy walking off the floor. You heard his halftime interview, some of you did. He called his team soft. He said they were playing soft. They responded here in the third. Alberson trying to go inside, can't get it to go. The defense by Messiman and Aleman picks it up. Aleman getting that rebound. Nine of the offensive rebounds that Sweden got on the first part of the game, five were from the perimeter players. So it was not the big girl's problem. It was a, a, a problem with the guards. I say couldn't keep control of that basketball. Goes out of bounds. Marco Cuspi calls for time. Feeling the team needs to refocus here. High point game, Belgium in front, 28-23, 7-10 to play here in the third quarter. Message from Marco Cusby in the huddle. Come off with confidence. Problem quarter here in Ostan has been the third quarter for Sweden. He also said something like, ISO is not our game. Let's not play isolation. We got to involve everybody. We got to continue moving. And that's something that worked very well from, for Sweden in the first part of the game. He doesn't want any one-on-one -on -one from one side of the court. Response out of the timeout. Held a break. That's Messiman on her, so she'll look to dance. Held a break, penetrating inside. That's blocked by Linskins. Goes out of bounds. Six on the shot clock for Sweden to work with. SB losing his mind on the sideline. You know how hard it is to penetrate with Linskins and Messiman on the paint? Not easy. You see how Not tough easy. it is inside on that last replay. Alverson, two to shoot. Another break for three, no good. Linskins vacuums that rebound. Yeah. Messamin wants it, attacking. She's fouled, she'll go to the line for two. And she's taking charge. Even the first two fast breaks starting this third quarter, she started it. That's what stars do. They won the ball in the big moments, and she's taking leaders. She doesn't, she doesn't even have to talk a lot. Her act talks for her. Alverson picks up her first foul. Messiman locks down the first free throw. No free throws down. Give Messiman 12. On the evening. Seven point game. I may will check into the game for Sweden to try and spark a little bit of energy. Elder Brink is she's getting her right knee taped up at the moment. Here's Ellen Elderbrink playing in the front court. She led the way for Sweden in the first half of their energy. Spirited conversation with Marco Cuspi at halftime before going into the locker room. Mestag comes away with the pickpocket. 
Ahead, Alamon, what a pass! Great ball movement! Belgium is rolling in the third! You want to talk about perfect uh, fast break? That was one. Hard foul there as Lloyd goes crashing to the floor. Crowd saying, hey, she ran into her own player, but here is that fast break. That was Big pretty. The ball never touched the floor. And Lynch begins with the finish. Zero selfishness there. Sharing the ball very well. And when you have a, a, a five that can run that way, it's always positive. Intensity defensively being picked up. Boy tried to stop and pop, can't get it to go. Lynch kids really clearing the glass well here in the third quarter. After giving up a ton of offensive rebounds in that first half. Messamin, ceiling, left hand, and get the go. Break saying, let's go. Here she is coming on the curls. Lloyd going away from her. They slip it inside, but Garrity, good footwork, but she gets blocked by Linskis. Nessam wanted the ball in the mm -hmm. post. There was no space for her to operate. It's going to go out clear as Alamond will look to dance on the figure of McGarry. Alamond! Everything but the finish. Really dodging some bullets here. And scored quite some time. Elder break right to the rim. Puts a stop to an 11 0 run for Belgium. And that's the first two in this third quarter for Sweden. Ah. Lanskins with the gorgeous feed from Messamin. That was a beautiful assist. It's Messerman's second. And they got the message, Carlin. They definitely did. This is a whole different Belgian team this third quarter. Timeout on the floor. 4.33 to play here in Ostan in the third period. Intensity of a huddle and a trip to the Olympics are on the line. You're starting to hear it. You're starting to feel it in this arena as we get closer to the finish line. Right now, Belgium in front, jam-packed. There's the shot of this jam-packed Aston Dome. Tickets have been sold out for weeks. They're here to see history one way or the other. Fans have made the trip here from Sweden. They would like to see their team stay alive. Sweden wins, they are alive. The dream, the Olympic dream is still here. They win by 15, they punch their ticket. If they win by anything less than 15, they'll need Japan to beat Canada later today. Belgium wins, and they are on their way to Tokyo for the first time ever. Mess that. Oh. Back to a double-digit lead. Where does the offense come from from Sweden? Three to Elderberry. Zowie's calling for it. They finally get it to her with seven on the shot clock. She has Tame on the curl. Tame is going to have to get it up. And she's fouled as the shot clock expires. Mestag was caught in a bad area. She took the worst of the hit. Mm -hmm. And she's going to get called for the foul. 
Nothing was happening there offensively for Sweden. Kaimei made something happen out of nothing. You see the foul here. Mestak just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Bodies crashing to the floor. They can't afford to get hurt to get hit today, not hurt. Get hit today. There's no tomorrow, Carlin. There's no tomorrow. You know how hard it was for both teams to get here. You have to remember, these teams have been playing tournaments after tournaments to finally have this opportunity. And after this, you go to the Olympics, you have your doctor's degree in sports, but you have to start all over. Yeah, it's not easy for the 12 teams making it to the Olympic Games. When we started the day, we knew six of them were on their way. We'll have six tickets given out by the end of Sunday here, local time in Belgium. Raime coolly knocks down both free throws in a hostile environment now as this crowd is starting to feel it. See Emma Messiman trying to take her nation to the Olympics for the first time. She's done everything. She's won at every level. What it would mean to her to get her Olympic dream realized here at home in front of these grateful fans. Daliel driving in. She has five. Lloyd. Halverson took a look at the rim. Now we'll put it on the deck, and she's fouled by her mom. That last drive there by the L. This will give Capio an opportunity to come on to the game for Julie Alamon and the crowd rising to their feet for Julie Alamon's play here in the third quarter. I mean, Lloyd wants it in the post. She'll go to work. Lloyd spinning. Can't get the hook shot. The defense by Delal not going for any of the fakes. Amon in front of everybody. She has a smaller other brick in front of her, but he decided to take her in the post. Kept the up. Kept the o, penetrating. To the corner, Mestag. That's a three. No good. Ball last touch, they say. By Belgium. It's going the other way with 240 to play here in the third. Come on, asking for a review. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like that. Seventeen four quarter right now for Belgium. Sweden struggling offensively. Gone quiet. Zowie helped them out. Live to shoot here. Zowie, she won't get a shot away. It's coming for three. They needed that. They needed that. And this girl, she's averaging uh, eight points in this tournament, but today she had not been able to score. And she can do it. She's good. Oh, yeah, driving right down the lane. Overshot on the layup. Lloyd calling for it in the open floor. This is where she's so dangerous. Ella Brink tees up a three. Back to back threes for Sweden. Sweden showing some fight. They're not going to go anywhere. Back to a five point game. Minute 40 to play. Time out on the floor.
see some of the highlights there. The Yellowbrick sisters have come to play, trying to will Sweden to a victory here. They started the day. The chances of making the Olympic Games are dim in most minds. Not the 12 wearing Sweden across their chest this afternoon. They're fighting with Belgium, who are also trying to get there for the first time. Good pass. Messamin underneath. Oh. We got 14. Back to a seven point lead for Belgium. Essler on the floor for the first time. She tees up a three, too strong. Battling his McGarity, it ends up in the hands of Mestag, and Malamond took a short breather, is back on the floor. Messamin wants it again. Elderbrink, the much smaller guard on her. Come on from the corner. Garrity with a good block out to pull down the board. Boyd's been quiet when she arrived offensively. Kame has bailed out Sweden on some possessions. She fires up a wild one. No good there as Messamin will clear. 30 seconds to play here in the third. Messman wants it. They want to get Alman and Messman pick and roll situation. Tend to shoot on the shot clock. Alman somehow got it to Messman. Three to shoot. She falls away and knocks it down. Vintage Emma Messman. She's so patient. She was looking for her another player that could probably be open in the three point line. She didn't saw anybody. She just turned around, made that shot. The crowd was so loud here, Sweden couldn't hear their bench screaming at them to take a shot as the quarter comes to a close. Belgium up 42-33. They are 10 minutes away from potentially getting to the Olympic Games for the first time ever. See Emma Messerman getting back on the floor. Ten minutes away from potentially bringing her team to the Olympic Games. If Belgium wins, they're on their way to Tokyo. Sweden still has a chance with the victory. They'll need some help, though. They'll lead Japan to beat Canada in our second game here from Aston, Belgium. Manzawi, Lloyd for three. That's off. McGarry with the offensive rebound. Forcing her way inside, can't get it to go, and come on, pulls it away. Lamont says, slow it down. It's been a tense game. Very physical. Messing. Come on, they want Messiman again. Everyone clears out the hook shot by Messiman. Goes awry. The man is that way. He's done a good job yes. on Emma Messiman this evening. Talk about the nerves these women are going through right now, knowing that they're on the brink of history on both sides. Sweden has never been to the Olympic Games either. 
Zowie inside, great seal. That was a great seal. I can see her doing that more often. It's been difficult for her, of course. Benjamin can really play defense, and she's having a tough a hard time as, as well as Raman, but the truth is she's very defensive, and she's good at it. But in the offensive side, she needs to be a little bit more aggressive because when she do it, most of the times it's effective. Right there, you saw on your screen with the push on the hip of Mestag. It's first foul here for Sweden in the fourth quarter. Alamon turns the corner with some pace. Mestag had to catch that one. That was a hot potato on her. Come on. Mess it in. Eight thirty to play in the game. Belgium in front, 44-35. Win by Belgium sends them to the Olympics. Lloyd quiets the crowd momentarily with a nice, calm jump. She's been quiet, but we got to give credit to Raman and to Delaire. They have done an amazing job with Lloyd today. They took the challenge, and really, Lloyd's been quiet today. We know how how powerful this girl is. He has five points. Messamin inside. Can't get it to go. Ball tapped up. Messamin wanted a foul call. No whistle coming. And here's Lloyd galloping up the other way. Elderbrink. Keeping her dribble alive. Zowie. Come on on her. Zowie falling away. Blocked from behind by Messamin. Great help defense by Emma. Now she'll go to work on the offensive end. Come on. On Mestad. Inside and mess him in. Count it! And the foul! Emma Messamin powering her team towards Tokyo. She'll go to the line for one more. That pick and roll was worth to the perfection. Sawi was a little late there. A lot of contact. She finished that beautiful basket and received the foul. An absolute superstar. Seeing her go to work right before our eyes. It's cold blooded. Like we're used to seeing her in so many different types of situations. And, you know, as many people already know, college basketball, WNBA basketball, and FIBA basketball are three completely different kind of games. It's the same game, but the game is kind of different, more physical in some ways, faster in, in, in others. And she can play. Oh, she did play in the WCAA and now in the WNBA in Europe with her national team. She's effective. She's all, one of the best players in the world trying to get her team to the Olympic Games for the first time ever as Amanda Zawi tees up and knocks down a three. You think Sweden's just going to roll over? Think again. Back to seven-point game. That's that. Alman, Messamin, left it short, and a grab underneath, it's going to go, I believe, on Frida Eldebrink, stays this side, 14 on the shot clock for Belgium to work with. Messamin, good pass inside to Mestag. That was eye-to-eye -eye communication. They didn't even have to say anything to each other. Nice. Good mess that he picks up the foul there. A little too aggressive. On the denial. That's Mestag's fourth foul, so she'll take a breather in foul trouble all the on Lynchkins on the floor as Messman will take a rest. I'm sure she won't be off the floor for long. Is this is the time Sweden takes advantage. 6.15 to play in the game. Elda Brink was fouled and she'll go to the line for two. 
you'll see the grab there and the continuation by Elder Brink. The foul probably three times that time in that possession. Her form on shooting is perfect. Knocks down the free throw. Yeah, those, those who have made the trip from Sweden, they've seen this before from the Elder Brink sisters. Daughters of an Olympic medalist in 1984, javelin thrower, and also nieces for uh, ice hockey professional player, sports family. Marcel Brink, of course, played in the NHL. Julie Aleman. That's the uh, hockey equivalent of a slap shot. Knocks down the triple. That's her second in five attempts. Back to a 10-point spread. Alverson stops and pops and knocks it down. That's a big shot. That's a big shot, and the defense was right there. Ramon was right there. They could get some offense out of her. Yes. Huge plus, and they open up the floor for Zowie to work inside. She hasn't had much space this afternoon. It's an eight-point game. Still close game, five minutes to go. Plenty of time. On that stack. Alamont trying to get free. She's caught fire here in the fourth from three. And Halverson knows it. it. Was a little too aggressive on that edge. Bumped her and sends her to the deck. That's the fourth team foul for Sweden. See that last three by Alamont. On defense, Sweden is, they do the hedge and they recover. They don't switch. Belgium is the other hand. All of the guards switch. Elise Lloyd back on the floor with 5.08 to play. She has been quiet thus far. Only five points. She's two of eight from the field, but can get hot at any moment. As I said at the beginning, Natalia, it's now or never. There's no tomorrow here. Final game for these two teams. And only one ticket remaining for the Olympic Games. Halverson gets called for the foul of Lynchkins. I to find some space in the paint, and she'll go to the line for two free throws. And she don't play. Vinskins, if she gets the ball inside and nobody trap her, she will shoot that ball. She will fight for with you to make that basket. Vinskins misses the free throw. That's a third foul for Alverson. Them. Messiman coming back into the game for Ramon. We assume that's the last time we see Messiman off the floor. Sweden not really able to take advantage of the time with her on the bench. Elderbrink driving in, tossed it up, wanted the foul call, won't get it. Alamon in the open floor. Miskins. Yeah. Messiman over the top, Lynchkins. Ball fake. She'll go to the line for two shots. Nice high low game between two big players. Great pass. The catch. Lloyd caught reaching that time. Timeout on the floor. 4.30 to play in the game. That's what separates Belgium in their first ever Olympic first.
What an atmosphere here at the sold out of Stone, a Stone Dome. Standing room only. Everyone on their feet. 4.30 to play. They have been rocking all evening long. Now they'll quiet down to allow Linskins an opportunity to concentrate the foul line with two free throws coming. So far, Linskins have 10 points and five rebounds, one assist. This is the first free throw. Sweden still has hope. Adamon catching a quick breather. On Mestag in the four. Placing her. That's 22 in red. Zowie sets the screen. Elder Brink will pull for two. That's her shot, and she knocks it down. That's her shot. Very smart. Get out of the pick and roll. Mid range. She have space. Four minutes remaining in the game. That's that. Zowie poked it away. Messam. Delia. Miskins for three. Ah, Messam with the offensive rebound. Fresh 14 for Belgium. I'll run another set. Delia hesitating. And a foul on Elderbrink. Mm -hmm. Initially, it was good defense, but he she was. came down with the arm. You'll see it here, folks. She slid perfectly, but she put her hands down. That was the problem. Point game, 3 for you to play. Belgium playing for history. Julie Alman back into the game. Alverson. Elderbrink. Lloyd inside Zowie. Poked away by Lynchkins. Emma Messiman in the open floor. Alman. Linskins. Delia. Is Alamon 10 to shoot? Messiman. Alamon puts it on the deck. Linskins for three. Lloyd will clear. Zowie. Frida Elderbrink turns the corner. Zowie is alone. Elderbrink needs help. So Zowie finally him. comes and arrives. Zowie! Wow. Nice move on the other side of the rim. Eight-point game. 2.30 to play. Neither of these teams have made the Olympic Games. Sweden wins. They'll need some help for Japan to beat Canada in the second game. Belgium wins. They're in. Offensive foul called on Emma Messamin. This crowd does not like that. It seems like she was trying to seal the defense. Maybe from another angle. From here, we didn't saw it. Still plenty of time left in this game. 2.21. And Sweden rides to the occasion in a hostile environment. Elderbrink for three. No good. Alamon will push the other way. Messamin in the post. Messamin. She's fouled and she'll go to the line for two shots. She's right-handed, but she is very comfortable attacking to the left side of the court. That's something she has to her advantage. There's that last foul call, and it was a correct call as Messamin's mm -hmm. arm, her hand was holding down Lloyd's arm as she hits the first free throw to get the lead back to nine. This is second. Zowie vacuums it in. 
with still time. Zowie tees up a three. In and out. Look at McGarity skying for it. Lloyd. Eldebrand. Frida for three. She don't need that much space, and she was like three feet away from the three-point line. Six-point game. Ticket to Tokyo on the line. Be the first Olympic berth for these two teams. And there's only one ticket available. Alamon driving. Messamin for three. Big time shot, Emma Messamin. Garrity driving in. Here's Lloyd on the baseline. Lloyd puts it on the deck. Lloyd drives right by Messamin and puts it in. That was my one on one. She's faster than Messamin. She was. Sono helps, so she decided to attack and finish with the layup. 58 seconds of play, timeout on the floor. 59, 53 is your score. in this gym right now. 58.8 seconds on the clock. Six point game. If Sweden wins, they're still alive. They'll need some help from Japan later on today against Canada. If Belgium wins, they go to the Olympic Games for the first time ever. Julie Alemann in the open floor. Sweden doesn't need to foul here. But they will pressure defensively. Sweden is in the penalty as well. 10 on the shot clock. Alamon. Mestag. Blocked by Zowie. Oh, the foul is called on the follow through. Zowie came up with a big rejection, but the follow through caught Mestag. And that was an aggressive foul, so Mestag will now have to step to the line for some free throws. And I think Alamon kept the ball because she was expecting for Sweden uh, to foul. But they didn't foul, and she. Decided to attack. It was good ball movement at the end. Mestag knocks down the first free throw. Dang her right elbow on the floor. You can see that she's able to step to the line and try to get it. And class, as you see there on the bench. There you see the look on the faces. They're 30 seconds away from going to the Olympic Games for the first time. McGarity puts it on the deck. Elder Brink blocked by Alamon. Mestag to Alamon. Shot clock turned off. And this crowd is on their feet. Look at the joy. Sweden won't foul. Hugs all around. Smiles that will turn to tears. Belgium is headed to the Olympic Games for the first time ever. And this is amazing. The happiness is this group of girls must have been feeling right now. The federation, the coaches, the family, the fans. This has been an amazing cycle for this Belgian team. First time in the World Cup. Now they're gonna go to the Olympics for the first time in history. Definitely something good is happening in Belgium. Basketball and the world needs to put their eyes 
on this team and on this federation. On the other hand, hands up to this Belgian uh, Sweden team that fought very hard. They should also feel very proud of being in this kind of tournament to their fans, to their families, to everybody that's been working with this Sweden team. Feel proud of them. They did good. They fought until the end. A lot of respect between these two teams. A lot of them play against each other at the pro level. Some of them teammates. Some tears for the Yellow Brink sisters. Maybe this is the last time they get an opportunity at the Olympic Games. On the other hand, joy, jubilation. Belgium headed to the Olympics for the first time ever. <laughs> It's amazing to qualify for an Olympic, but imagine doing that in front of your people in your country. This is a moment that they will never, ever forget. Now they have six months to get ready for Tokyo 2020. It doesn't stop here for them. That's the beauty of basketball. You'll win, but you'll have to keep working. Because what's next is a whole different level. Young fans on the court. I'm not sure they realize that they're a part of history right now. Sold out building here in Aston. You see many have stayed in brave. The storm outside. The winds, the rain ripping through the streets of Aston. Most in the city have shut down. You said, Natalia, in the first sports around the city been canceled. The only thing going right now is what's happening here. And many in attendance, and many watching at home. Witness history. Belgium going to the Olympic Games for the first time. Another ticket handed out. A well, well deserved win. These girls have been working so hard, so hard. And we all watched what these girls did in the World Cup. They end on the fourth place, they had an amazing tournament. And it's just been wonderful for them. It's been a good cycle. <laughs> a lot of smiles, and Keplio's going to address the crowd here on hand. Too much emotion, but you know, I'm so proud of my team, my staff, my nation, Amutas, Julia Mo. We are a team, and everybody is one piece. What an incredible moment. There are the stats, final stats from a historic afternoon here in Aston, Belgium. Final score 61 53. Belgium is headed to Tokyo. Did it with an incredible effort in the second half. And of course, they were led by Emma Messiman, world class superstar. Game high 24 points. She will play in her first Olympic Games. 
and is a part of history. There's the standings. Belgium at the top of the group momentarily. We still have Canada and Japan to play here in Ostend in the final day of the Olympic qualifying tournament. We already know who's going from this group. It's Belgium, it's Canada, and Japan being the host nation had the automatic bid. Wow, emotions all around. We'll leave you with the highlights from what was an incredible game as you hear the crowd sharing appreciation for what they saw. History, Belgium on their way to 2020 Tokyo.